What's up you guys? It's Maddie and today I'm doing a review. I got this for getting straight A's so I thought I would review it because it is an amazing palette and it is the Urban Decay Alice Through the Looking Glass palette. It is about $60 depending on wherever you buy it but it is a limited edition palette from Urban Decay since the Alice Through the Looking Glass movie came out and so yeah I'm gonna review it for you. So this is what the packaging looks like when you buy it and this is the back and it shows all of the colors in the palette. Um, okay. This is the actual palette. Um, this is what it looks like. It's just got some flowers and like butterflies in the front and it has the mirror and it says Alice through the looking glass. And it's the same on the back and on the sides it's actually in black and white which is pretty cool. And then this is one of my favorite parts of the palette. When you open it up it looks like this. We're all mad here and it has a little mirror that looks like the one in the movie. And then right here it has some words. Ooh, that fell out. I'm not strange, weird, off, nor crazy. My reality is just different from yours. This is the cool part I want to show you guys. If you open this up, it reveals the butterfly from the movie. Ooh. Okay, I'm just going to take the eyeshadow out. It's hard to show. I'll take a video and insert it. But when you pull the things, it makes the butterfly's wings flap, which is so cool. And I really, really liked that um, about it. It's just hard to show you because the drawer keeps falling out. I know who I was when I got up this morning, but I must have changed several, but I must have changed several times then. And that's what it says right here. Also, it has these cool, like, clocks right here, like, that are, like, melting, which are, it's just... The artwork on this is just really cool. This is the actual palette. These are all of the shades um, that it comes with. I'm just going to take the drawer out. These are all the shades in the eyeshadow palette. So I'm going to just read them all off to you. And I will insert video of each swatch that I do for all of these colors. So there's Looking Glass, which is just this pink um, matte color. Hatter, which is just a dark green matte color. Lily, which is a shimmery cream color. Heads Will Roll, which is a like blue shimmery teal color. Time, which is just this like, I don't even know how to describe this, like a black metallic-y purple color. Reflection, which is just a matte um, nude orange color. Gone Mad, which is a sparkly purple color. Duchess, which is a like rose gold sparkly color. Bandersnatch, which is a dark blue matte color. Dream On, which is another metallic-y sparkly color. Dormouse, sparkly nude brown color. Paradox, which is a bright shimmery orange color. Kingdom, which is a shimmery brown color. Salazengrum, which is a like maroon shimmery color. Um, Chronosphere, which is another brown like shimmery color. Metamorphosis, which is a slightly shimmery light blue color. Cake, which is a sparkly super bright pink purple color. Chessboard, which is just a matte nude brown color. Um, Royal Flush, which is a bright shimmery white color. And Mirror, which is a shimmery gray color. It also comes with a brush. It just says Urban Decay on it, and it comes with um, a little brush for applying it on, which you could also blend with, and a blending brush. Now, Looking Glass, I put a little bit on right here and then blended chessboard in my crease, and then I took Royal Flush and put it in the centers of my eyes, or corners of my eyes. The, a lip color from this Urban Decay Vice um, like sample thing, which I got when I purchased um, the Alice, when my parents purchased the Alice Through the Looking Glass thing, they got one of these samples, which is really cool, and I'm really loving the colors in this. So if you want me to review this, I will, and I will get the actual full size lipsticks. Um, I really like the brushes; they're super soft, and I really like this one because it's a thinner. Sorry about my nails; it's a thinner blending brush, so it's easier to like blend everything into your crease because it's not so thick and like bulky which I really like and it's really great for blending so I really love this 
Um, regarding the eyeshadows, I think that they are absolutely gorgeous. There's a wide variety. There's everyday like colors that you could use like for neutrals for everyday makeup and it's also good for if you want to have a party look or something bold or even for Halloween if you want to be the Mad Hatter or the Red Queen or something you can definitely use the makeup in this palette um, and they're also very very pigmented the pigmentation of the eyeshadow is very clear when you put it on your eyes you can definitely see like the colors you don't have to pack on coat after coat of eyeshadow to get the colors to shine through so I really really like that about it as well I also like that it comes with the mirror because the mirror makes it really easy to do your eyeshadow if you're going on the go and you just want to bring this with you just throw it in your suitcase then you can just use this to do your makeup because it has all of the eye stuff you need minus like mascara or eyeliner or whatever you use really like this and I definitely recommend it to anyone who wants to get this palette because honestly it's just amazing and it's it's got beautiful artwork on it if you just look how gorgeous like those clocks are and the flowers and everything on the side is in black and white which I think is really cool and then the front is all in color and it and it just slides out like a drawer so you've got your eyeshadow that you can do while you have this open and like I said the butterfly thing that they included in here is just so cool like my little sister was playing with it yesterday when I got it so yeah I really like this and honestly the packaging even is so pretty I just don't want to throw it away um, so but it just slides right back in and I'm just gonna keep it in this packaging so it doesn't get ruined and just keep it in my bathroom so if you guys want to go buy this I definitely recommend it Urban Decay did not sponsor me for this. My parents bought this with their own money um, for me, so I didn't like, I'm, this isn't a sponsorship. I'm not trying to get you to buy the product. However, I do recommend it because it's limited edition and it's going by fast. Um, lots of people are getting it, so get this before they sell out and there's no more because it is just a really, really cool palette and I think everyone needs one of these for party makeup, for neutral makeup, it's just great all around. So that was the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments if you want to see me review more things and what you want to see me review because I'll go out and buy it and review it for you. I love you guys so much and I'll see you next week. Bye.